Welcome to another edition of ExtendingClouds.com. My name is Gary Coburn, the host of ExtendingClouds.com. And today we are going to walk through a workflow that I created recently due to customer demand that would give us the ability to create a SCSI adapter and add a hard disk to it. This is one of those things that uh, when my colleague asked me uh, if I had any experience doing it, I dug through VRO and, and assumed that there was a simple workflow that already existed. And after uh, investigating, I realized that that is not, in fact, the case. Our, uh, our existing workflows don't have anything to add a SCSI adapter. They just simply add another hard disk. So with that in mind, I went out and investigated workflows that were online to see if there was a simple way to do it and uh, basically came to building this exact workflow out. So as you can see, we create a SCSI adapter and we add a hard disk to it. If you look at the workflow, we've got our extract virtual machine info. So this is important to understand. We are collecting data against the existing virtual machine that includes the idea of actually getting the data store, for example, that that machine is located on. So when we provision this, new SCSI adapter and hard disk, the hard disk gets deployed onto the same data store as the existing virtual machine. Uh, we also have the add disk, which is a cloned workflow from an out-of-the-box workflow that gives you the ability to uh, to validate everything, check the, the actual SCSI controller exists, and add the disk to it. So the one thing that we have done manually here is detect the hardware disks that are attached to the system, validate which of those exist, and increment, auto increment the number for the SCSI controller. So we validate what the SCSI controller number of the, the latest one is. We then go in and create the next SCSI adapter number by adding it to the next array value. So if the array returns with two, for example, it will add the third adapter based on that number. We then create a custom task that says, hey, reconfigure this virtual machine and add that particular config spec that uh, gives you the SCSI type and the bus number. So as an example, let's go ahead and run this workflow. We'll go to our environment. Oops. We'll add a one gig disk for now. Add it in persistent mode. This is really pretty much the only thing I use. We'll call it thin provisioned and we will hard code which type of adapter we want to use here. So generally speaking, most of you guys typically have a standard process and standard adapter that you want to utilize. We'll execute that command and we'll wait for the task to end. As you can see, it's a reconfigure task. It's going on the data store that that machine is actually located on. Sets the disk to persistent and defines the next available SCSI adapter. So if we go in and look at the virtual machine, first of all, you'll see that a reconfigure task was run. And you'll also see that we have added an additional hard disk to this system. So we've got another SCSI controller and we've got another hard disk. So now that we can run that out of the box with a VRO workflow, Let's take that and enhance that by going into our vRealize automation and create 
an operation to do that as a service offering. So first a quick introduction to what we're going to do. Uh, for example, the actions list. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new action that will install a new hard disk with a new SCSI adapter using that particular workflow. So first we will go to the design tab and we'll go to resource actions as this is an action we're actually going to run against that particular VM resource. We'll go in and search for our create SCSI adapter and add a new disk. You'll notice that automatically it pulls the information that the resource type is a virtual machine and it automatically maps the input parameter. So these are all uh, things to make your life easier. We're going to create this and we're going to give it a version number and we're going to hide it. The other option here is to give you the availability to say, hey, I want to do this uh, only available on very specific OS types, for example, or um, or specific business groups to be able to do this. So if I, ha if I had an option for my SQL team to, to be able to log in and, and request a, a blueprint that may or may not include SQL on it, they could have this option. At the end of the day, I don't really want to do that. I want it provided so that it's always available. But if I want to trigger an approval based on that particular request, then I would create an approval process for just this request example. So we'll give it a name when people add a new disk and SCSI adapter. We want the disk in size, we'll, uh, we'll choose a default value just for the sake of, of doing this. So if somebody just submits it, they will get a single one. Uh, we also want to make this required. Yes. And visible. Yes. We'll apply that setting to that one. The disk persistence. We'll set a, uh, a set of constraints. First of all, it is required. Yes. Read only. Yes, we don't uh, want the consumer to be able to choose whether it's persistent disk or not. We're going to set the standard value. Choose persistent. And we're going to set visible to no, because we don't want them to be able to change anything here. Next, then provisioning. I want this as a default to yes. I want it not, I want the visible to be yes. And then their choice. Uh, again, this is one of those things that I, I encourage you to hard code. It can be done on the VRL workflow itself, or it can be done in this window. So it is required. We're going to make it read only because we don't want the users to select this. My, uh, my default is para. And we're going to set it visible to no. And we'll apply. Now we'll go ahead and publish this. We'll go into our administration tab and entitlements. On our cloud admins, we're going to go into items and approval. Oh, uh, there we go. Create. It's because you'd have to add hard disk. So now it's entitled to all of my machines. Now I can go back to my items tab. Uh, it actually has to refresh this page. So let's go in and take a look at this particular blueprint. You'll notice that create a SCSI adapter and add hard disk is an option for me. 
I can go out and trigger, say, yeah, I want one gig, yeah, I want to use thin provisioning. And I'll submit that. I can go look at my request in progress. I can evaluate the fact that it is running as we speak. And I can go look and see that it is reconfiguring that virtual machine for me right now. We got our checkbox. And we've completed the task. So this is an example of a quick day two operation. In the next edition of this, I will actually take these and manipulate them a little bit to create a workflow that can be launched at provision time. So if I want to create a SQL instance, it will launch this particular workflow after the machine is provisioned and create the additional disk on top of it. Thanks very much, and I look forward to, uh, to any feedback.